What is good, Storm fans? I am Brian Cook, and today we're playing Sail into the West Solidarity. Those are certainly some words, and I'm going to tell you what they mean. So, Solidarity is a high tide, which is a one blue instant, all islands tap for an additional blue reset deck. And reset says blue, blue, untap all your lands. You can only play this after your opponent's upkeep. Okay. So, this is a super old legacy deck that once upon a time was the best combo deck in the format. The year was 2007. It was a long, long time ago. Okay, so recently, Sail into the West was printed in the Lord of the Rings Commander Precons. This is a four mana instant, two blue and a green, and it has Will of the Council. So starting with you, each player votes for either Return or Embark. If both players re vote return, each player returns two cards from their graveyard to their hand. If you vote for embark, each player discards their hand and draws seven cards. So it's an instant speed blue draw seven, which is perfect for the reset high tide deck. And the idea with this deck is you play those two cards, you generate a ton of mana, and then you play draw spells like brainstorm, consider, meditate to gain card advantage on your opponent's combo turn you play enough spells and eventually you brain freeze your opponent or you blue sun zenith them to draw their entire deck and that's how the deck wins so in the middle we have sail into the west to refuel our hand give us a fresh seven we also have growth spiral to put more lands into play so that way our combo deck makes more mana you might be saying basic forest that's terrible in your high tide deck well, when you're running Growth Spiral, sometimes you want a mana source that isn't hit by Wasteland. Okay, but we haven't played Basic Forest before because Growth Spiral just wasn't enough. Today, when we're running Sail into the West, we need something that beats Wasteland. And that's what Basic Forest does for us. So we're running two copies of Prismatic, Prismatic Vista. There we go, I can talk. To help find that Basic Forest. And that way, we never have to worry about Wasteland on our combo turn and our Sail into the West deck. It also helps support Veil vale of Summer and, you know, those Delver Secret style matchups. Although there's something ultra sweet about our deck list today, and that is that we're actually in Umori the Collector deck. Umori can be your companion if your entire deck shares a type that isn't a land. So we have all lands and then all 100% instants in our main deck, which means we're allowed to play Umori the Collector, which is just ultra sweet. So Umori actually has relevant text on it. If for some reason you pay three mana, you put it to your hand, and then you want to cast it. Okay, this hypothetical world that could exist. All right, so in this world that hypothetically exists, all spells of the chosen type cost one less to cast, so it makes all your instants one less to cast. So on your combo turn, medicate, meditate costs two, uh, sail into the west costs three, your snaps are one mana, it's going to be wild. Um, and that's sort of just how the deck functions. So you have all instants in your sideboard as well, just to make sure that Umori the Collector is always available. But if we're being completely honest, this card is mostly in your sideboard, is a green card for Force of Vigor. We're going to see how Umori it is today. I'm really excited. I hope I get to cast it and put it onto the table. I think that would be absolutely wild. All right, so if you like this video, make sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Our subscribe counts have actually been a little bit low the last month or so, so if you would subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. So thank you for all you that do that after watching this video. I hope you enjoy the league, and uh, I will see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsperm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. All right, it's match number one, and we have revealed our Umori the Collector. I am so excited for this. Keep. With our current hand, we're really just looking for a high tide and then a green source. They play a Noble Hierarch. Sure thing. We draw Consider. Not a bad draw. Stoneforge Mystic. Sure thing. So is this like Punishing Maverick? They're grabbing Cauldra. We'll play Consider. I don't need another Sail into the West, so we'll put that into the graveyard. Brainstorm. 
let's see if we can f uh actually i'm just gonna play my island and pass so our opponent's going to put in the cauldra and then i can bounce it with snap blue blue we will snap the germ token indestructible does not matter when it's returned to hand well now untap our two lands and pass draw let's brainstorm see if we can find a green source no is the answer all right so we'll put grow spiral on top and then reset play land pass they just passed the turn here leaving the stoneforge mystic back so they might have another piece of equipment we're going to pass the turn on their end step i'm probably going to meditate batter skull actually i think I'm, no i don't want to do it now i'd have to discard basic planes they attack for five this is going to put me down to 16 and they'll go up to 25 but life total is irrelevant i'm either at zero or i'm winning knight of the reliquary okay so this is punishing maverick we'll cast meditate we're going to draw into the gross spiral i put back once again still no green source our deck has a lot of fetch lands in it for us to have not found a green source yet our opponent is ready to go to combat let's see what they do all right so five coming in again we'll go to 11 and they will go up to 30. now in their end step we will cast consider mill the consider we don't really want to spend mana on that another meditate come on duck brainstorm we're over a third of the way through we finally found the brainstorm or the green source i'm sorry um put back a force of will i guess so i'm going to have to discard if i don't do something here so i'm going to choose to grow spiral now put the land in we're at eight cards and now we could try to win on our opponent's turn even though we don't have high tide do you have another piece of equipment for your stoneforge oh they're using knight okay what is going on here they grab a fetch land sure you now have a savannah and they play an endurance i don't really care about that so that's fine they target me now we'll go to clean up discard the force negation all right so now it is now or never we need to win this game we can allow our opponent to go to combat inside of combat we will cast reset no high tide in sight not yet we will play a meditate there's a tide okay play the high tide we will now reset to make some mana and meditate growth spiral putting in the scalding tarn high tide again let's brainstorm i don't think we need the counter magic so i'm going to put those back search with the scalding tarn and it's important to note that our opponent could have gone wasteland at any point with this knight of the reliquary and they were unable because we had basics i'm going to snap their knight this is going to force them if they have bazooka bog to use it and then i can respond with mission briefing they use knight okay i guess i could have let them declare attackers that would have made my life slightly more easy they just grabbed a taiga so no main deck bazooka bog we're going to respond to that swords mission briefing bend the trop we'll keep meditate on top and we will target reset cast reset okay 26 mana in pool we'll mission briefing again we don't need to consider we'll keep meditate on top target another reset reset again make a whole bunch of mana so they're currently at 44 cards in deck we'll reset make a whole bunch of mana mission briefing we'll keep both of these on top Start the reset reset again so something else that's pretty interesting about sailing to the west is that in the past the only way that you had to force your opponent to draw cards was blue sun zenith now you could theoretically sail into the west as well so you could sail and make them draw cards that way 
And now we will target them with Blue Sun Zenith for roughly their entire deck, or actually their entire deck. Do 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 all right they will draw 46 cards and we win the game love it umori way too powerful our opponent saw the companion got scared didn't win the game all right enough of my faux trash talk let's get to sideboarding board out the force of negations i don't think that those are super helpful and i do think we want bounce spells so let's bring in the echoing truth and the two chain of vapors we might want force of vigor but i'm not sure yet maybe for game three and now we need to find one more card to take out probably a growth spiral let's submit this playing solidarity is always so much fun so playing amori the collector was not my idea I was showing the deck idea to the Epic Storm team, and Alex McKinley was just like, Bryant, why are you playing Kahira when you could be playing Umori the Collector? And I was like, well, they're both just green companions that exile to Force of Vigor. And Alex said, oh no, Bryant, they are not. Umori has relevant text on it. All your instants cost one less. And my mind just like blew. Uh, super excited about that. And last week, I actually bought one of each companion in Japanese foil. They're all pretty cheap at this point. But I was just like, I should own one of each just for a rainy day. And that rainy day has already come for Umori the Collector. Super excited. I think I'll try this. You really don't want a mulligan with this deck. Green Sun for zero, sure. Okay, draw. High Tide, that's a good one. So at this point, we really want to find like a Sail into the West. Uh, you can have Southern Library, I don't care about that. Sail into the West and then like a Reset. Play Consider. Well, there's one of them. Keep that. Draw for turn. Chain of Vapor. We'll pass. So my only way of drawing cards right now is the Growth Spiral, and I'm kind of nervous about searching out Tropical Island and then losing to uh, Wasteland. I could have main faced the Echoing Truth. I just don't know how good of a play that really is. You have a Stone Forge. They find their Cauldra. I think I'm going to get Tropical Island and then hate myself. Alright, so our best draw of this is probably just a land. We have, you know, 16 more of those in the deck. A Alright, now Sail into the West, the perfect draw. It's something, I guess. Pass the turn. Not Wasteland, big fan of that. Opponent activates Stoneforge. There's the Cauldra complete. Gasp, I didn't see that coming. All right, let's see if we can bait out a counterspell here by bouncing the germ token. And by counterspell, I'm talking specifically about Pyroblast when our opponent has chosen to leave up Taiga. Okay, draw for turn. Another island. We will pass. Our opponent has drawn two cards with the Sylvan Library. A plateau, so they have three red sources. They can now play up to three copies of Pyroblast. Choke sure deafening silence i think i'm gonna try to win the game now high tide all right so high tide is resolved let's make some blue and a green fast reset they play their red blast we will cast force of will exiling echoing truth we will untap our lands and now i will cast mission briefing ideally i would find like sail into the west here and they have endurance wow brutal i was not thinking about endurance there i can still surveil into something good that is a possibility all right mission briefing wow that was actually insane uh we want to bin meditate keep the mission briefing on top i think and i'm going to meditate i'm going to use the green Okay, so Deafening Silence is still on the stack. What to do, what to do? I'm going to cast Consider. We can bin Force of Will. Another land, unfortunate. Okay, so what now? Cast Mission Briefing. We find another Meditate. I think I want the Meditate. So we're going to bin the Meditate because that's the only way I can cast it. Target Meditate. We have to snap the Stoneforge, untap, untap, 
And now meditate floating one. I have to hit a reset here or else we fizzle. I guess I can hit another snap. Well, we hit reset. Cast it. And now I need a very good brainstorm because we've drawn a lot of lands. Cast it. We hit sail under the west. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. All right. So now we're going to put these two on top. All right. Tap for green. Undo. Let's sail into the west. We want, let's just make sure. We want embark. Yeah, sail into the west. So good here. Love it. Pyroblast, Endurance, Deafening Silence, Choke. What a game. Discard my hand and draw seven. Absolutely. Thank you for asking. Okay, so we will reset and untap. Let's meditate again. High Tide, tap for a green, play a Growth Spiral, put Flooded Strand under the table. I don't think we need another green source here. Fetch, well, I guess I could get a Trop, okay, the other Trop's in the graveyard. Consider, I guess we can keep this actually. No, no we can't, ignore me, that has to go. Another High Tide, okay. Reset floating eight. There's 36 cards in their deck. We don't have enough mana for that yet. Um, I have 25 left in mine. So we could sail into the west again, or I can blue sun zenith for a, a bunch. Each island taps for four. All right, I'm going to blue sun for this much. So for 13. If 13 cards doesn't win the game, I don't know. Okay. High Tide, High Tide, Tap for Green, Reset, did not hit a Brain Freeze, let's Meditate, this brings us down to 9 cards in deck, there's the Brain Freeze, we will deck them, boom, I love it, Surgical Extraction, Endurance, another Surgical, wow, their deck actually had a lot of hate for us. Pyroblast, Deafening Silence. Imagine having all this hate and losing to Sail into the West. And now we will... Actually, I don't think I want to Sail into the West. That's probably not the right line. Well, I guess I could discard my whole hand. Yeah, we can Sail into the West. It's fine. I don't, uh, each player may. So this actually doesn't work. A vote return. Let's see what they do. I actually don't want to discard my hand at this point. All right, so Sail Under the West is not a replacement for Blue Sun Zenith. It is a May effect. Good to know. I do not want to discard my hand and draw seven. And our opponent apparently clicked yes for some reason. Am I reading that correctly? Okay, so they just chose to do it, I guess. But we won match number one. We are 1-0 with Umori Solidarity. I love it. Let's try to get the next four. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Okay, so I had a little bit of technical difficulties. My computer crashed or froze. I've been having issues with Magic Online Memory Leak recently, and it happened at the end of game one. I somehow tapped two lands to cast a Brainstorm, and I only tapped one, and then I had two lands tapped. And all of a sudden, I go to sideboarding. My computer just completely freezes due to the Magic Online Memory loss. I restart my computer. We've gone past the sideboarding time, and the file from game one is gone. So not really sure what's happening, but we lost game number one to death and taxes. Uh, they didn't even play any hate bears or anything. Our deck just like never found high tide and died. So we're going to look to fix that in game number two. And as you can see, Magic Online hasn't even loaded the card arts yet. Uh, so we have reset, meditate. Brain freeze is kind of a bad draw. 
Am I crazy for wanting to... Like, this hand is already a 6 with the Brain Freeze, and then we have a Wastelandable Land and Trop. Yeah, I'm going to Mulligan. Ugh. Yikes. I guess we keep him bottom of Force of Will. Uh, we are not sideboarded because Magic Online Crash, so we have to win game number 2 against our opponent's sideboard cards. We're definitely in a tough spot. Turn 1 Caracas. There's Passing. Snap. Okay. Guardian of Thraben, Thalia. Let's cast Brainstorm. Okay. So theoretically, I could just let the Thalia happen. Is that insane? I think I'm going to put back both forces and just allow Thalia to exist. Okay. You have a Thalia. Draw for turn. Okay, pass. Swamp, and now they attack. We go to 16. They have no follow-up play, so I think I'm going to snap here. Maybe this is too aggressive, but this gives me extra mana for the following turn to go off in response to Thalia. Didn't really need the brain freeze. We'll pass. Really banking on this meditate being good. Surgical on snap. Sure. Okay. Orcish Bowmasters, what? That's not allowed. Come on. Against the Solidarity deck, it's just not kind. It is possible for us to beat this card, but very difficult after they've removed our snaps and we were not allowed to sideboard because Magic Online hates us. All right, so I might as well try to win now because that two damage can end up being relevant. We will reset. Meditate. Okay, so we're going to go to 11. Maybe I was supposed to just take the damage. Maybe I misplayed by trying to do everything now. Sail into the west. We will vote for Embark. So we'll take seven more damage off of the Orcish Bowmasters here. Yes. And actually, we can respond to the Bowmaster triggers. Okay, maybe we can do this. They're at 62 cards. Can I pull this off? The answer might actually be yes. Let's reset. Storm is 6. Consider. I want that. This triggers on the stack. Yeah, okay, I think we can actually win this. Consider again, try to increase our storm count. We'll bend the land. That was a perfect hit. Cast High Tide. They're at 62 cards. Cast Growth Spiral. No. Bowmaster Trigger is still on the stack. Reset. So now we will tap for mana. Actually, I should probably do blue. Mission Briefing. Spiral to Graveyard. I was going to target Reset, but maybe I should meditate now. So that way I can create some more Storm. Thought I had to meditate in here. I do. Cast meditate. Four more Orcish Bowmaster triggers. We're just really abusing the stack here. Reset. Storm is currently 14. Storm 15. Let's brainstorm. And we're going to have to move the stack here because it's covering up our storm count. <laughs> we'll put two lands on top. We'll cast Mission Briefing, and then surveil away those lands. And now we'll target Reset. This time we will add a green, cast the Reset. From 17. Oh no, I needed that Mission Briefing for Brain Freeze. Do we still have one? I've been thinking this whole time about brain using it, and then I just burned it. Um, one, two, I'm a dummy. I have two mission briefings left. That was dumb. All right, brainstorm. And I hit another. So lucky. Okay. I'm a big old dumb dumb. Mission briefing. This time we'll actually target our brain freeze like I was supposed to on the last one. And now we will brain freeze them for 60 cards. They have 62 cards left in their deck, and then we can blue some zenith them the rest of the way. Thought Seas, Spirit of the Labyrinth, Orcish Bowmasters. Okay. 
I have not seen any deafening silences yet. They do have Thoughtseize, Thalia, no Mind Break Traps yet either. Bunch of Thoughtseizes and Surgicals. I would like to point out that uh, Spirit of the Labyrinth and Orcish Bowmasters are a little bit of a nombo. And now we will Blue Sun Zenith target them for three. They have two cards left in deck. Wow, we won game two after Magic Online decided I wasn't allowed to sideboard. How lucky. Okay, so we want Chain of Vapors. We want Echoing Truth. We'll get rid of the Force of Negations and a single growth spiral. Let's try to win game number three on the draw. All right, so we've opened up three lands in Force versus the Prison deck. I think I'm going to keep this. Baracus passed the turn. Mission briefing. Okay. Spirit of the Labyrinth. That's going to get a Force of Will. And I did see Opposition Agent when I decked them game two, so let's search out before we can get hit by the Opposition Agent this game. Another reset. Not ideal. Okay. Pass the turn. So something about mission briefing is you are allowed to alternatively cast Force of Will from the graveyard. Not that I really want to cast it, but if they play something that stops me from winning the game, I'll do it. Recruiter of the Guard is fine. Another Spirit of the Labyrinth. Okay. Draw for turn. Meditate. Interesting. We'll allow them to go to combat. Spirit of the Labyrinth. So I could just force this pitching a reset. Or I could meditate and then just like look for a bounce spell. I think that's going to be my line here. No. Okay. Guys, force it will. So I am skipping a turn here. Lion Sash versus my mission briefing is a little uncomfortable. Three mana. Four mana. Leyline of the Void. Okay. They play an Arid Mesa. You've got it. Draw for turn. It's another Meditate. I guess I should fetch now before I can get hit by Opposition Agent again. Well, not again, but you know what I mean. Um, so next turn, they could dump 5 mana into this, making it a 6, 7. That could theoretically be lethal. So we'll take 2 going down to 10. They eat my Meditate. Okay. It doesn't grow your Lion Sash. Mother of Ruins is fine. They have one card. So they could eat third, four permanents, plus my two would be six. They put Yori into hand. I think I'm going to just meditate again. Okay, please don't do anything dangerous. So currently they can pump their Lion Sash five. So this would be six, seven, eight, and I would go to two. No blocks. They play a Crocus floating mana. I don't think I care about Yorian. Oh, I guess it finds Orcish Bowmasters. Okay, so that... It, okay, I could have countered the Yorian, I guess. So now this comes back. And they do get a Bowmasters. We'll force a will the Bowmasters. Pitching the mission briefing. We're going to draw a fetch land. I'll search immediately. I'm going to brainstorm now. Or should I consider... Actually, I'm just going to pass. We want we need all the storm count we can get for their turn. Let them declare attackers. All right, now we're going to try to win. So how do we want to do this? Start off with a meditate. Four land, or I'm sorry, three lands and a chain of vapor. Not ideal. So we'll burn a reset. Definitely in a tough spot here. Okay. What to do? Consider. Burn the mission briefing. We drew another land. Things are not looking good. Brainstorm, Storm 4. Sail into the west. I just don't think we're going to be able to beat the Lion Sash, so like I don't see the point in Chain of Vaporing the Ley Line. I mean, realistically, I think we're dead. Okay, so now we will cast Reset. Float some mana. Reset again. I guess I can bounce or target the Mother of Ruins, forcing them to activate it on something so that way my snap works. They give the Lion Sash pro blue. Okay. Chin of Vapor on the Mom. 
we will now cast Sail Under the West. We're going to do... I think I want to leave a green floating, or a green available. Because if I draw another Sail Under the West, I might want to cast it. I don't know. Surgical on Force Will. Okay. Oh, this is going to shuffle my deck, so I won't be drawing Brain Freeze here. That's interesting. Storm is nine. Embark. I've used three resets. One, two, three. I have one. Oh, no, I have zero resets in my deck. That is not good for us. So we need to win using snaps now. I tied. I only have two snaps. Bowmasters can happen. We can just win with bow. Like what we learned in game two is you can just win with bowmaster triggers on the stack. So we need to find brain freeze. Like that's the big thing here. All right, I'm going to meditate going down to one blue. We found another high tide, but no brain freeze. We will. Bounce the Yorian. Why did I target the legendary creature? Oh my. Did I just punt? I just lost. Wow. All that work. And I just targeted the, the legendary creature with a Crocus in play. Ah. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Well, I threw this one. Um, so, our snap now fizzles and we die. So, I'm going to concede. We had four available mana. Assuming that uh, I untap islands. So let's look at our top four or five cards. And it's not going to let me. Okay, so this was a rough one. Uh, game one, obviously the technical issues. Game three, I kind of punted here. Uh, I would have untapped island island. And then I would have high tied. So that way this island would tap for three and I would go up to four mana. We would have had Consider Brainstorm. I think off that you have to find like Brain Freeze, Snap, and like another action spell. Uh, we only had one other Snap in the deck, so it would have been tough. But that those were the outs. We had 16 cards left in deck, so it's not impossible, but pretty slim. But we didn't even get to try because I misplayed. So rough outing. We are now 1-1 one one with three matches left to go. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Round three, we've opened up a no lander mulligan. Here we have a one land, but this hand's a little bit slow. I'm going to bottom the growth spiral and we'll see where we can take this. Basically, we need to hit running lands. We do have a pair of brainstorms to help us out. Exploration. So they're on lands. Maybe I was supposed to counterspell this. I don't know. Rising Canopy. Land decks these days are often playing main deck Sphere Resistance. So just counterspelling and exploration is not super free. Huge draw with the basic forest there. They draw a card with Horizon Canopy. There's this Saga. You've got it. We're just going to take a draw. There's no need to burn a Brainstorm here. And then just redraw one of the cards anyway. Basic Forest and we'll pass. They grab a savannah. Sure, have a soul guide lantern. All you. Ghost quarter. I don't like that. They have two cards in hand. On their end step, we will cast consider. We're looking for more lands. We find one. We'll keep. Another sail into the west. You could put Umori into your hand here, but I don't think that's really worth it. Instead, we're just going to pass the turn. They make a construct. There's a saga it goes up to the third chapter. We're going to make another construct and then search. I'm going to respond to that search so that way a main deck needle doesn't hit me. Wow, those were all very good. We don't need force negation. We can get rid of that. And maybe the mission briefing when they're sitting on a soul guy lantern. From there we'll fetch and let's go grab a basic island. They pick up a mox diamond. Life from the loam. Sure. 
They replayed the Urza Saga. We'll take an attack for four. We'll brainstorm in response. Might as well get a free shuffle out of this. Put back the Force of Negation and Force of Will. Yes. Grab a basic. Go to our next turn. Assuming that they're done. We currently cannot cast sail into the west. We would need to find a fetch land for Tropical Island. So they're attacking for eight. I think we just take it. They play a pair of Maze of Ith. I just need to find a green source here. Draw Blue Sun Zenith. So are we trying to win without sail into the west? Because that's what this does. But I don't... No, this can't even win. Like, we can't blue sun zenith enough, so... I think you're actually supposed to concede here and not show your opponent what you're playing. Because they don't know yet. Like, they don't know that we're solidarity. I like the bounce spells. We'll bring those in over force of negation. They got a girl spiral. You could board in the force of vigors, but... I'm not really inclined to, so I'm just going to... I mean, they have main deck spheres, but... Maybe I'll board in two. We'll board out one sail into the west and leave two growth, uh, growth spiral. I guess we could try this. Game number two on the play. Reveal our Umori. Sure, we'll try this. Keep both win conditions in hand is a little bit awkward. Play the Vista and then pass the turn. That's a sphere resistance. Yep. Land go. Sylvan, sure. We brought in two Chain of Vapors, an Echoing Truth, and two Force of Vigor. Oh, I missed an opportunity. Last turn, I could have put Umori to hand. They play an Exploration. They're at six. And they grab a Wasteland. Or they play a Wasteland, I should say. Needle. I guess we're fetching. This is a bummer, because it's going to shut off my path to Umori. Otherwise, I'm playing directly into the Wasteland. Our opponent named Increasing Confusion. <laughs> yeah. So I can either cast Consider on their end step or put Umori to hand. And when we don't have another green source, I think I like the Consider line more. Another Exploration. Okay. Thespian Stage, Blast Zone. They now have two cards in hand. On their end step, we will cast Consider, put Force of Will to the Graveyard, and Misty Rainforest. Chain of Vapor. Umori the Collector, two-hand. Okay. I would love to kill my opponent with an Umori. I think that is, like, the greatest thing that could happen this league. Do you have Crop Rotation? Looks like they do. Okay. They're at three life. They're making a Merit Lodge. Chain of Vapor, the Merit Lodge. All right. Amori the Collector is looking like lethal at the moment. They have Life from the Loam. Ah, oh, that's brutal. And they're representing another Merit Lodge right now. Ah, oh, that's so tough. They can just do it every turn. So now I need to find another um, Bounce Spell here. Draw. Force of Vigor. You know, Force of Vigor is actually not bad. It gives us a chance. They're at one life. All right, Merit Lodge is in play. In their upkeep, we'll pay one. Force of Vigor, these two. Exiling the Umori the Collector. Let them draw. Let's see if they choose the Dredge. They do not. In their beginning of combat, we will high tide. Our opponent draws a card with Horizon Canopy in response. High tide. Okay, so once again, we have both of our win conditions in our hand, which is super awkward. If our opponent resolves a crop rotation and exiles our graveyard, we just flat out lose. Sail into the west. We will embark. Yes. Float some mana, cast reset. I imagine they're going to hit us with Wasteland in response. They do not. Brainstorm. Put two lands on top. Reset. 
mission briefing. We will surveil both lands and then target brain freeze. Cast another brainstorm. Storm is eight. Put back land and consider. Mission briefing again. We will surveil both of these to the graveyard. Target blue sun zenith. High tide. Let's meditate. Storm is 11. Green, make a bunch of blue. Reset. Storm is 12. Target them with brain freeze. I guess, okay, I, I messed this up. I should have, uh, because if they had crop rotation for a bazooka bog here, I should have blue sun zenith, held priority, and then cast brain freeze. That, that was actually the right way to go about it. And our opponent's going to let us see their entire deck here. Okay. A lot of chokes. So maybe I should board in that third force of vigor. And now we will cast blue sun zenith targeting them. Okay. And we did it. That's game number two. All right. So let's bring in the third force of vigor. I wonder if we're supposed to board out considers and keep the extra growth spirals. Is that crazy? Board back in sail into the west. Just having a high density of green cards. Let's try this out. Umori control. Revealing our companion. This seems fine to me. An opponent with a fast mulligan. Our opponent has got five cards. Game number three. Mox Diamond. There's a saga, so they're coming out hot. Away from the loam, okay. I mean, that's certainly not a bad five. Another mission briefing. We'll just pass the turn here. They dredge and hit wasteland exploration and another loam. Sphere resistance. I'm going to respond with a brainstorm. So that was their last card in hand. Uh, that was not very good. Yep. In fact, it was pretty terrible. We have to pass. They make a construct. And they grab a Soul Guide Lantern. Okay. I would have expected a Mox Diamond there. But maybe they just don't need it. There's no point in casting Chain of Vapor on a Construct. I need to draw through this Brainstorm and then try to hit a land. They still have three in hand. They're attacking for four. I'll go to 16. Draw for turn. Horse of Vigor. That was a good one. Okay, so what to get rid of? Probably the mission briefing. Another thing I could do is destroy the Mox Diamond in the Construct, or leave the Construct and then snap it later. I'm going to leave the Sphere for now. We have the Chain of Vapor. I just want time to recover. Our opponent casts Crop Rotation. Grab Savannah. Sure. I'm going to main face the Brainstorm. Maybe it's crazy after being Brainstorm locked and I immediately get punished. Okay, so we're Brainstorm locked again. What are fetch lands? Our opponent draws Ghost Quarter. They know that I'm Brainstorm locked, so they don't really have the incentive to do anything. Go to my cleanup. Discard. Growth Spiral. They have found land three. So they can now cast Life from the Loam. Yep. All right, I think I'm going to burn the Chain of Vapor on the Sphere Resistance at this point. My time is running out. So we're going to bounce the Sphere. Draw for turn. To land. Okay, so in theory, we could try to sail into the West on their turn. Okay, so I think it's time to party. A little bit rough in the spot we're currently in, but... So High Tide, Reset Floating 1... All right, tied, reset, reset again. And now we will force of will the sphere, sail into the west. I didn't actually mean to allow them to cast a spell, but I think priority went back to them. Either I clicked or because I countered their spell, they gained priority back. Yes, I would like to discard my hand and draw seven. And we drew straight nothing. Wow. Ah. Oh. This is what happens when you overboard, I suppose. Jeez Louise. Yeah. That was so bad. Candy choke. What to do, what to do. Choke is obviously going to resolve. 
Draw for turn. Sail into the west. Okay. We will pass. There's a saga goes to two chapters. Horizon Canopy. Another choke. Um, sure. Yeah, you got it. On their end step, we will echoing truth the chokes. What are they targeting? High tide? Alright, so we're gonna try to win in response. <laughs> uh alright. Cast high tide. Reset. Let's sail into the west. We will choose embark. Yes, I would like to discard my hand and draw seven. I did not hit a another untap effect. This taps for three. Yeah. Or for two, so I have three total mana. I'm going to brainstorm in response to this surgical. Because if I hit the reset, I can continue going. And if not, I... Okay, well, I guess I just found the Force of Will. We'll put one sail into the west, and then a land on top. And then we'll counterspell the surgical, exile, and grow spiral. Attempt to bounce the chokes. Okay. We'll go to 11. Pass the turn. They make a construct. Saga goes to the third chapter. They're going to make another. And now we're going to respond to this uh, trigger. High tide. Let's meditate. Oh, that wasn't very good. Um, so I can mission briefing here, but they have the soul guide in play. How many resets do I have? There's one reset in my deck. And then honey snap, one snap, green. All right, so let's grow a spiral. We hit another meditate. I have two hits I'm looking for here. Attempt to brainstorm. Ah, uh, I think we just lost. Okay, so I guess at this point my only out is finding Force of Vigor off of another Meditate. I have one Force of Vigor. Alternatively, if they... No, that doesn't work. Alright, Meditate. I found the Force of Vigor, wow. Okay. Let them resolve this ability. So I'm skipping two turns here. They play another Saga. Exploration. I think I have to counterspell the exploration if I want to win this game. And a choke. So can I live if I take two hits from a construct? I can't. So I have to get rid of double construct. And then find bounce spell. I don't even know if I have a bounce spell in the deck anymore. Alright, so... Kill the constructs. I'm probably just dead. Saga goes up to two... Rajukabog. All right, they've got me. I'm going to pick it up from here. Wow, what a match. I mean, we didn't win, but that was a sweet one. So we are now one and two. It happens. Uh, I mean, our deck kind of fizzled there. One thought that I've had so far is that I chose to play Snap because of Orcish Bowmaster, and now it seems like we can just win with the triggers on the stack. So maybe those snaps should be something like Impulse for Consistency. Just a thought. But... Pretty happy with the deck list so far. I might need a little bit of refining. We can talk about that at the end of the video. But for now, I want to win match number four. I hope you join me there. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four, we're on the draw. Our hand just doesn't do anything. We're going to mulligan. This is better. We can put blue some zenith on the bottom. Ancient tomb, lotus petal. Great. Eight cast. Or what I thought was eight cast. Oh, it's Carnforge. We have one card in hand. Let's counterspell this. Our seven probably would have been very good in this matchup. Play the island, pass the turn. They're passing back. We'll cast Consider. Keep Brainstorm. Is this the match where we cast Umori? I hope so. Alright. Misty Rainforest will pass back. On our end step, they untap the Basalt Monolith, giving them more mana. 
defense grid. We actually can't beat, I mean, Umari can beat that card, but our deck can't. Main deck, defense grid. All right, we're going to get rid of the mission briefing here because I can't use it. And meditate. Or maybe it should be the reset. So now we have to go for a Hail Mary brainstorm into Force of Will here. Okay. Brainstorm. We missed. I wonder if our deck can win without reset. Probably not. Like, we don't even have a turnabout in our deck. Okay, you have Defense Grid. That's a Mystic Forge. I just don't think there's any chance we win this. They discard their hand of Lion's Eye Diamond. They play a Grim Monolith into Grim Monolith. All right, I'm going to call it. We need more interaction, apparently. Okay, so Force of Vigor is definitely something we want. We also want these Force of Negations, Echoing Truth. That's 67 cards we want in our deck. We don't want Snap. And I think I'm going to try to get by without Growth Spiral. Or I keep the Growth Spirals and I board out Consider. Well, let's try this. I feel like the Snap was a miss for me. I didn't realize that I could just keep responding to the... Bowmaster triggers. Like, I really wish we had two impulse in our deck instead of those snaps. I would like to be on the play. Sure. Maybe this is supposed to be a mulligan. I don't know. Grim Monolith. Lotus Petal. Mystic Forge. Let's remove a Growth Spiral and counter it. They have four cards in hand. High Tide, not the card we needed. We need lands. I don't know if you're supposed to mulligan a double force hand in this matchup, though. They have three cards in hand. Burn the Great Creator. That can be countered. Get rid of Mission Briefing. Draw. We'll pass. Saga goes up to the second chapter. And another Saga. That's brutal. Mox Opal. The One Ring. Ah! So many, like, just insane cards. We're going to respond with a growth spiral. Okay, you've got it. Yeah. We'll draw. Force of Vigor. Let's brainstorm. No lands. Jeez, we're playing an extra land too. Like, when I put in the basic, I, I actually up the land count. Put back these two. We're going to... I don't even know. Bounce the One Ring, I guess. So they're going to get one Construct out of this, but I'm going to blow up their two Sagas. All right, now we have to draw through our Brainstorm. City of Traders. now they can replay their copy of One Ring. Yep. I'm not going to Counterspell it. Like, I could cast Force Indigation. I don't think that... I mean, we're probably not winning this game anyway, but I need to hope that somehow, between Ancient Tomb and the One Ring, they accidentally uh, lose the game. All right, so they just drew two cards using the one ring. Two counters on it, so they'll lose two in their upkeep now. Inventor's Fair, that's insane. So now, because they have Metalcraft, they will gain one life in each of their upkeep. Darn. Okay, we've lost. I mean, we probably lost this already, but that's just the nail in the coffin. They play another Mox Opal. And they get Liquid Metal Coating. All right, so... uh this league is quickly going downhill for us. We are now one in three. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pinned comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The final game of this league. Can we get 50 play points back? I'm dying to find out. We reveal our Umori. This seems like a reasonable keep to me. We've opened up the basic forest a lot in this league. They also play a Misty Rainforest. Let's go grab a basic island. Consider. Don't need Force of Will. And meditate. Okay, pass. Is it the mirror match? Are they also on Solidarity? Our opponent plays a Flooded Strand, sure. 
Draw. Reset. Ah, oh, not the mirror match. They have revealed Tundra. You can have an Ice Fang Quaddle. That's fine. Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. Uro goes to the graveyard, and with that trigger on the stack, I'm going to cast Meditate. Okay, let's see if I can draw four. Woot! No high tide, but that was a pretty good draw four. I guess there wasn't even a land. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't very good. Our opponent cast a Brainstorm on their new turn. That's fine by me. Like right now, if this snap was an impulse, I'd like that quite a bit. They grab a Taiga. Delighted Halfling. So if we let this resolve, that means that they can follow it up with an Uncounterable Teferi, and then we probably lose the game. But we do have Snap, so we can just bounce that to their hand and buy a turn. Well, that's two of them. All right, I'm going to Counterspell the next one. Get rid of the mission briefing. Okay, so we'll take one. They have five cards. Another sail into the west. Bounce the halfling. Okay. Omnath, locus of creation. I'm gonna, going to attempt to meditate in response. There's all the lands we wanted on the previous turn. Omnath happens. Now they'll probably play a fetch land. No? Still no high tide, by the way. We are over 33% of the way through our deck. This has been a recurring problem in this league. They attack for 10. I'm sorry, for 5 we go to 10. Sure, you can have Delighted Halfling. And another Delighted Halfling. Draw for turn. Blue Sun Zenith. Can we please find a high tide here? No. <sighs> I think we hide... Brain freeze under a sail into the west. Play a land for turn. Growth spiral. Move to discard. Like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. Discard, mission briefing, force of negation. Maybe that was, maybe I was supposed to keep the mission briefing. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. Because if I, I theoretically have a window here. I mean, it's not a good one, but it exists. And, yeah, I should have kept it, because I could then mission briefing it into reset, going up to six mana, and then sail into the west and hope to hit. We will force their force. They will force back. We will force their force. So I know my top card is Brain Freeze. I'm not likely to get up to a point where I can Brain Freeze them for lethal, I guess I pitched the Zenith. All right, so now reset happens. Brainstorm. And it was garbage. Okay, so I had the brain freeze. In response, I'll sail into the west. Embark. Discard my hand, draw seven. So they're now at 30 cards in deck, and obviously we find high tide now that it's irrelevant. I'm at nine life. They have six power on board. Omnath triggers, they get to make a bunch of mana. Minsk and Boo. That is lethal, I believe. It definitely is. Okay. Ouch. So we lost game number one versus four color, five color pile, really, with uh, Leobold. Okay. Not looking so good for the home team. I think we probably want these Veil of Summers. Instead of Force and Negation, I'm going to bring in Bounce Spells for their Uncounterable stuff, so that way I'm not locked out of the game. Get rid of these snaps. Probably don't need Growth Spiral, actually. Leave in one Force and Negation. Okay, we have to win back-to-back -back games to get my 50 play points back. Alright, game two, revealing Umori. Keep? I don't know. This one's a weird hand. Island Pass. Consider. Keep the land. We needed that. Okay. This is looking decent at the moment. Maybe find a high tide and a reset. Who knows what could happen. We'll brainstorm in response to theirs. Get rid of this blue sun zenith. Okay. Our opponent searches with Misty Rainforest and Collector Roof. Well, there are no artifacts in my deck, so that's fine. Consider. Get rid of the Misty. I think I'm actually going to put Umori to hand on our turn. 
All right, Umori the Collector to our hand. You can't stop me. Volcanic Island, the Fairy Time Raveler. We will force of will exiling meditate. Days. I wasn't aware that this was a days deck with your four mana planeswalkers. Ah. Uh, all right, I guess we're doubling down. We have five cards, one of which is a Tundra. We draw another land. Well, I did say I wanted to cast Umori this game. This is us casting Umori the Collector. All right, we have to name instant. Now we just need to rip a sail into the west. All right, so brainstorm, windswept teeth. They grab another tropical. Delighted halfling, sure thing. Ay ay ay. Pass the turn. No point in attacking. We're never going to deal them lethal with Umori. Against the Minskin Boo Uro deck. Four mana. That's a Minskin Boo. We have a four four hamster. Draw, I tied. Not the best right here. We'll pass. We kept a one lander this game, by the way. Just throwing that out there. No particular reason. <laughs> uh, they now have a 7-7 seven, seven hamster. Oh no, they're flinging to draw. My bad. Sure. Natural order. I literally can't do anything, so yeah, you've got it. Leovold. I guess this is the spot where I'm supposed to attack the Minskin Boo. Try to get them to remove the Leovold from the table. They wisely don't buy it. Okay, we go to seven. Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. And then they can buy it back with the Delighted Halfling. I'm going to call it. We've lost this game. So we finished one four, did not get our 50 play points back. The best okay. legacy podcast? That would be Eternal Glory featuring myself, Bryant Cook, alongside Brian Cobal and Phil Gallagher. We're available on all major podcast platforms and YouTube. Looking at the deck list today, I didn't feel like there was anything necessarily wrong with the mana base. It was fine. If anything, I think that the main deck snaps are wrong. You probably just need more consistency cards. So you could play Opt, for example, like maybe one more one mana cantrip so that way you find your high tides more often is needed. Um, so like you could go down to two growth spiral and remove the two snaps and play for Opt just for consistency purposes. But I felt like I had a really tough time today finding my key cards. And that was the biggest downside of this list. I didn't think that Umori was necessarily bad as much as just like the deck didn't function because it was just missing key elements or like maybe you went impulse because impulse digs four deep for reset or high tide and maybe that's the right card for the slot i'm not really sure but there's some sort of flaw here i don't know necessarily what it was but i don't think it was necessarily sail into the west fall i think that our deck was flawed in other places but feel free to let me know if i'm wrong in the comments you won't hurt my feelings Thank you for watching. I know that this was a tough one, but hopefully you found parts of it fun. So have a great day. I do appreciate you and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.